Did you close my door? Yeah, I closed it. I'm actually hey, happy. What, what hey, is this? Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Where? OK. Yeah, All right, I'm walking at? up now. Bye. I thought it you was, said we was like going like a bro, shop or something. Bro, I said a... close my door, Joey. It's closed. Is it closed? OK, don't touch it. It's closed. It's closed. Here we go. Where are we at? Boys, this, this may be something. What's up, my man? Welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, how you doing, man? You, man? The legend yeah. himself. I feel like he needs no introduction, but just in case he does, I mean, we're talking to an L.A. legend. This is cartoon, man. When you talk about this car culture, when you talk about car clubs, you're talking about somebody that's been embedded in it for years. I mean, the man started out as a graffiti artist, but it wasn't long before he branched out into making logos, album covers, clothing designs. But what made him a worldwide celebrity is his tattoo work for the guys like Eminem, Kobe Bryant, 50 Cent. And he took all that talent and experience and he bought it to a custom car world. All right, so, Cartoon, I'm going to give it to you straight, man. That's right. These guys right here, these are a couple of my guys. We're starting a car club. I said, if we're going to do it, we got to do it right. So I'm coming right. to you. This is my car club, Pegasus LA. Man, this is what it's about right here. Jeez. Beautiful. American Beautiful. Dream right here, 57 Rags. Mm. And we hooked up with the professionals. We were like a brother club. And we connect, black and brown, and we go hit the streets. Yeah, this is my car club brother, Art. How you doing, man? The barber. Up, man? Pleasure, so, man. Master Pleasure, barber. Pleasure, man. Pleasure, yeah. <laughs> And you know the OG big tweet from the professional. Big tweet, 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 tweet. Big tweet from the professional. Man, everybody who's anybody in the low riding world knows the OG tweet. He's kind of an underground legend. And of course, they know the professional's car club. Did you start the professional? No, sir. What, no, how sir. did the professional start? What, what is Man, it? A guy named Ted Wells and Lonnie. Okay. Uh, they established a the club back in 1974. Okay. Oh, wow. I was eight years old then, so of course I ain't, I ain't started, you know what I mean? It started blossoming. Guys started joining in and coming to hang out or whatever the case may be, but then they realized, well, we got to create some ground rules for this, you know what I mean? So then they came up with the bylaws. I just want to, I want to make sure that we're getting it. When you say they created bylaws, right? I yes, mean, sir. it's layman's terms. We're talking rules. We're talking understandings. We're talking the ins and outs of being in this thing. You know, with building a car club, you have to have bylaws. You have a lot of street guys coming in, ballers. They got money. They want to show up late. So you got to put some structure down to keep everyone moving, keep everything fluid. OK, so this is, guys, it's information, and it's coming in hot. Joey, and you're not taking moved. notes. No, well, I'm the what, president. No, well, you're not. We don't, ha we don't have. Give me okay. a second, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second. Have have president? President? Did you hear what he said that was most important? I heard that. He said bylaws. We don't have any. What? We don't have nothing. No structure, no nothing. Law number None. one. Why we law can't... number one. That's why... Don't argue with me in front That's of people. No, no. That's our first law. First of all, they, they are seeing us argue. So, 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 look so, look give me a second, guys. Turn around. No, no, I'm not taking this No, no, They see me. And what we talking about? Car club meeting. Car meeting. Come over here, Joe. You're not going to do this. Joe, turn your back. Joe, excuse me, guys. Real quick. I'm sorry. You came here to understand principle. Listen to me. I'm sorry. Okay, now we're talking. All right. All right. I, so, I'm, All right. I apologize. All right. Okay. Let's I got, get back to the I got, well, we I got hype. Right now. I got hype. Okay. I, I, heard get him, I heard him laying so, out the box. So, so, so yeah. Down. I'm sorry. You made it. Right. Right. Let's right. listen. On three. No, no, no. We're not going to look weak. All right. Cool. Hey, do y'all, just real quick, do y'all got a thing like a. No. Because we've been doing this one, two, three. Y'all don't do that, do you? Nobody does that. No, sir. No, exactly. Thank you. Okay. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Back floor is yours. We got to uh, take notes, Joey. Take notes on that. All right, so we back to the bylaws no more tweet. That. Give me some of the rules of riding, man. Like, you guys meet at a location. You drive to a location. How does it work with you guys? We're going to go cruising right after this, so you guys are going to roll with us. Nice. So we're going to okay. break it down all along the way. Hey, when you say we're going to cruise with you, do you mean we're going to ride with you, or we going to ride with us? You're going to jump in the low low. Now we talk. Okay, you know, talk. That. Okay, see? You got to feel. This is what I'm talking about. I got hype. Yeah, yeah. I just got hype. This is the car. I just got hype, man. This is it. Can we see what else you got? I mean, is this yeah. is this it here, or you got more no, cars No, we got here? more in the back. Check it out where we kick it. This is more like the clubhouse like, back oh, here. This, so you actually have a clubhouse here, like the whole setup, yeah. vibe, we, everything. We are building one I'm putting He's one got together a clubhouse and multiple cars we we got to get it together Ooh, woo. the 58 and Paula man wow. 
Now, no trim on here has been customized or anything. It's all original trim. The only thing custom is the hydraulics and the paint job. And each one of these cars has a theme on it. So that way, it makes you stand out in the streets. People will be like, that's Gotham City right there. You know what I mean? This is all freehand, mind you. You lay the patterns right there, and then afterwards, you get a brush, and you pull the gold leaf right here by hand. Hopefully, your wife ain't giving you a hard time that day, and you can pull a clean line. Wow. How long did it take you to build this? This paint job took one year. Wow. Oh, my god. So you got to try to be patient. How can you rush Picasso? Just hopefully, you know, Picasso's drinking problem ain't real heavy this month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what about this skirt going on down here? This. This is an accessory that you could get at the dealership at the time. They're a $10,000 accessory now. And back in the day, they would load these things up. Like, how about a visor? They kept the sun out of your wife's eyes. It was like a wearing a baseball cap. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. And then these spotlights, because there wasn't a bunch of street lights out, so you needed this spotlight to get through town. There's also a certain amount of history that's now attached to your car. Mm -hmm. It's almost a tourist attraction every time For you sure. come out. And you're keeping it alive, and you're talking about street guys, right, armed maybe with a high school education, are now these automotive historians yeah, that are yeah. taking these cars that are buckets, replacing the metal, bringing them back to life, bolt by bolt. Each one of these things is put together with care and love by a knucklehead. Now you guys got to see the trunk of the car. OK. Because the trunk holds all the hydraulics. Back in the day, in the 50s, they used to lower cars, but they couldn't get up a driveway. So some smart guy worked at a factory and you seen like a, a dump truck, you know what I mean? And yeah. took that idea of a cylinder, put a cylinder in each corner, put some batteries in there. And it was real crude when they started, you know? But as time went on, they started to get a little more oh, wow. with it. This is tough. Oh, wow. This is six batteries. This is a street setup. We run this car. We we have fun with it. And this is the mural I painted with the Catwoman. <laughs> that's all done with the same paint that's used right here. I just put it in a little airbrush. And that's how I really started in the whole game. I used to airbrush t-shirts at the car shows. My old man took me to a car show, and I seen all these wet, expensive lowriders. And I was like, Pops, how could I get one of them? He goes, easy, son. You just need to make yourself necessary to those guys. You need to learn a trade that you can barter. And that's what I did. I built all my first lowriders bartering, you know, the painter. I'll do a mural for him, he paint my car. And that's how, you know, someone with no chippers can get a, a show car. Great lesson wow. from your old man. But you gotta have skill.